In this presentation, we will try to find out the answer of the question what is parity. I think this word parity is something that you are already familiar with because it is something which um, very often repeated in the digital electronics course. So let's move to it. It is concept to detect the errors. Error detection and its elimination is a very vast field in the electronics and uh, the engineers and scientists constantly work on this field because we, we want the signal transmitted as it is at the receiver's end. We do not want any distorted signal at the receiver's end. So the parrot is one way to detect the errors and uh, it is only for the detection of a single bit error. Okay, a single bit error is detected by it. If there is an error in the two or more bits, then definitely the parity is not going to tell you about the error because it is only for a single bit error. Now, I will explain you these two things in a real quick time and let's move to it. Let's say this is our receiver send. Okay, this one is our receiver end Rx and the yellow one is our transmitter end. This is our transmitter end. And a signal is transmitted from, let's do it in different color, a signal is transmitted from the transmitter to receiver. Generally uh, we make transmitter on this side but I made it so there's no problem. A signal is transmitted through this channel from the transmitter and then received by the receiver. Let's say the signal is a 4 bit signal okay and uh, we know that in this channel there are so many factors that are there to affect this transmitted signal. So there are noises involved and because of that noise maybe uh, some bits changes from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. We can say that it becomes high to low or low to high and if that happens we can detect it by the parity. So what is this parity? This parity is actually an extra bit. Let me write it down. It is an extra bit that we send with the bit stream. So we send a bit stream which is this 4 bit signal and also and also an extra bit and and that and this extra bit tells us the total number of ones tells us this tells us the total number of ones in the transmitted signal so what is the use of this total number of ones so this is something we have to cover by one example and uh, let's say in this 4 bit signal, transmitted signal, we are having a single one. So let me write it down 0 1 0 0. This is the transmitted signal let's say. Now you can see the number of 1 in this bit stream is 1 which is of course odd and if it was even then we have to do the different operation. So depending upon this, there are two types of parity, two types of parity. The first one is your even parity and the second one is your odd parity. Okay. Now if we are talking about the even parity, so what will happen? An extra, th this is our original transmitted signal and there is an extra bit that will tell us about the total number of ones and we call it as the parity bit. This is our transmitted signal or you can say that original signal and here we are having the parity parity bit. Okay and uh, whenever we are talking about the even parity and there is an odd number of 1 involved in the original signal we will add a 1 here in the parity bit or we will make the parity bit high to make the total number of 1 as even remember the total number of 1 as even because this is a bit confusing people think that whenever there is an even 1 
in the original signal we will make the parity bit high and that is actually we do in the odd parity so what you have to remember you have to remember that the overall in the overall signal the number of one should be even in case of even parity very simple let's take one another example of this even parity if the signal the original signal was one one zero zero so what you can see here you can see that there are two ones which means it is even number of ones so whenever there is an even number of ones already in case of even parity we just make the parity bit zero because what we want at the end of the day we want the number of one as even in case of even parity similarly if we talk about the odd parity this was the case of even parity and now we will talk about the odd parity and we will take one example of a 4 bit original signal the same example let's say 0 1 0 0 okay this is our original signal and here we are having the parity bit so in case of odd we want the overall signal including this parity bit odd number of 1 so here we are already having the odd number of 1 so we will add just 0 as the parity bit and let's take this one in case of odd parity 1100 0, 0. here we can see that the number of 1 is even and in odd parity we want the total number of 1 as odd so we will add 1 here so this is very simple but how we are going to detect the error now we just right right now we know that what we have to do in the parity we just add a uh, another bit stream or we can, you can say that the extra bit not a bit stream extra bit which tells us about the total number of ones whether they are even or odd now how we are going to use this information for the error detection let's say in this particular case in this particular case a noise has been added a noise has been added in the channel and because of that noise let's say this zero this last zero that is our lsb becomes one which was actually zero in the previous case and this parity is set at the transmitters end and this parity is already set as one depending upon the signal zero one zero zero but now because of the noise the last zero is now one so we already know that it is the even parity the transmitter end has to inform that the receiver end that we are sending the signal according to the even parity so he will detect the signal and he will see that the parity bit is high which tells us that there must be a odd number of one in the original signal but what we are having here we are having even number of one so definitely at the receiver end he will know that there is an error there is an error in this particular signal okay so this is how we detect error in the parity i think this is clear to you